everybody today I'm gonna to be doing a review on ColourPop cosmetics this is my second review so if you'd like to know more details check out my first review which also featured 10 shades and it really talks about really in-depth everything so in case I forget anything in this video check out that video so this video is going to contain seven more shades and these shades are just as bright and just as fun as the first 10 I reviewed so um, I'm gonna show you guys the shades I'm gonna swatch them up and then I'm gonna talk to you about the formula and how to use them etc so the first shade I'm gonna show you guys is called slave to pink and this is a super shock pressed pigment and as you can see it is hyper hyper reflective like that's not my camera whitening it out that's just it is just that reflective You'll see in the pictures, it's got a little bit of blue in it as well. It's got a shimmery blue and silver in it along with the pink. And it applies just as opaque from the touch. Really, really pretty. This is Slave to Pink. The next shade I'm going to show you guys is going to be a bright, bright yellow. Um, by the way, these are $5 each. So if you wanted something like the Electric Palette and you couldn't afford it, these are definitely a much better option because then you can just pick and choose which colors you want and you get free shipping on purchases of $30 or more. So this is called um, Glow Stick and this is a Super Shock Press Pigment. Um, I got a little bit of color here today because I used it on my eye. Um, so ignore this little part here. This is the part I'm going to be swatching. I don't want to contaminate the swatch. Now this shade was a little hard to work with. It was a little bit of a sheerer yellow, but you still had all of that glitter, all that hyper glitter prettiness. Let me see if I can get it in the direct sunlight so you can really see. You guys, do you guys see that? And all of their shadows are like this. Even the ones I've reviewed before, I wasn't in direct light. And I don't know what's going on inside my window with people and they're blasting their music that nobody wants to hear. Anyway, the next shade I'm going to be showing you guys is an orange, and this one is Heat, and the rest of the shadows I'm going to show you are the Super Shock shadows, um, they're shadows rather than press pigment, and I actually dropped this one, and I don't know how I got pink in there, but I dropped it and I had to push it back in. Now these are moist, so they're not going to crack when you drop them, which is good, but you have to press them back down because they are a little moist. So let me swatch this one up for you. This is Heat. A little bit more in there. This is heat. And this is an orange shade. Um, maybe not as sparkly as the other two, but still definitely pretty decent in terms of sparkle. You know, definitely very reflective. I like it because it's like a yellow orange, kind of reminds me of like a sunset. Then the next shade I'm going to show you guys is a more neutral color, and this one's called On the Rocks, and this is also a super shock shadow. And this is a brown shade, as you can see here, really, this one's gorgeous. It's brown, but it has silver and purple, or rather violet, shimmer in it. It's just absolutely gorgeous, like I can't get over this one. This one had like a little surprise when it came, I was like, ooh. So this one was really, really smooth to work with. This one was really, really nice to work with. Here it is in the sunlight. As you can see, really, really hyper, you can kind of see the purple, maybe not so much through the camera but when you see this in real life you're if you get this one you're gonna be amazed at how pretty it looks in real life it is not a neutral at all it's a neutral you can definitely use it as a neutral but once you hit into the light it's like wow it's like a neutral disco the next shade I'm gonna show you guys is bubbly and this one's also a super shock shadow this is a pretty pink shade and it's got it's got a lot a lot of silver glitter in it this one really is gonna reflect a lot of white light at you kinda like that Put this, I'm gonna put this on the side here. Sorry about the, I'm trying to get the direct sunlight so you can really see. Super, super glittery, super pearlescent, maybe a little bit frosty, kinda 80s, but I feel like it's 80s with a new twist with all the, the shimmer in it. It's really pretty, here it is without being in the direct sunlight, and you can see it's still very, very pearl. It's really gonna make your eye pop. Um, the next shade I'm gonna show you guys is Liberty, and I'm turning too dark. And this one is a silver shade, and I really, really liked this one because you can pair it with nearly any of the other shades, and it just works. And this one's also going to be reflecting a lot of white light. This one was extremely soft to work with. Like, this one was just an absolute dream. This glided like a liquid. Like, this one doesn't even feel like it's any hybrid of shadow. It just felt like a liquid. And it's extremely, it's like the Tin Man. Like, if the Tin Man, just you touched him and his skin came onto your finger, 
or your face, that's what it's like. It's awesome. Like if you're looking for a true silver, silver, bright silver that's going to deliver you the most silver possible, Liberty is it. And then the last shade, I'm a little bit goes a long way. The last shade I'm going to show you is Ratchet. And Ratchet is a black shade that features a lot, a lot of glitter. This one is going to disco it up on your lid. It's really a gorgeous shade. So I'm going to swatch this up for you. Um, right here above the pink. As you can see, it's almost as glittery as the pink. It's extremely, extremely pretty. And you can build it up to be even more black, like if you don't want it to just be gray. And here it is without being in direct sunlight. As you can see, you still get a lot of that silver. These shades are phenomenal. Like, I'm so in love with them. I cannot get over how amazing these shades are. That Oh, anyway, some notes about the formula. These are a semi-moist formula. I would liken them to... Maybelline's Color Tattoo, um, MAC Paint Pop, even slightly L'Oreal Infallible, except for L'Oreal Infallible is a little bit drier. These are much more moist. These aren't like the, the Maybelline uh, Color Tattoos and that Color Tattoos are creamy, so I mean they're similar in formula, like these are going to be crease proof all day, like I can rub my hand and rub my hand, and these are not going anywhere, they're not budging, they're not moving, so you have to kind of go fast with them because when you apply these, I mean they did move a little bit slightly, like it's not perfect, but you know, um, when you apply these, you pretty much have a certain limit of time before they start to set and they become crease proof, waterproof everything. They are like the perfect hybrid of what you put on your eye. You don't have to prime your eye, you just literally paint the product onto your eye and you're good. That's why they're kind of like the Maybelline color tattoos, but the Maybelline color tattoos are a little bit stiffer and then once you start playing with them they get creamy. These are instantly creamy the moment you touch them. You want to keep them very closed tight, otherwise they can dry out and you might lose some of that moisture. So um, they're very moist to the touch. You don't need too much. You can use a brush to just paint them on. You can use your finger. I like to apply them by painting it on and then the areas where I want to just a little bit thicker I apply it directly on what I love about these is as you blend them out you get a lighter shade and since there's so much dimension with the sparkles and the shimmer what you can do is you can blend it out get one shade and then put it thicker in the lid and have a totally different looking shade because of the contrast of how much you've sh uh, sheared out the shimmer and the dimensions and the pigments this is one of those products where you can have two different shades with one shade it's great so today I did my eye look using slave to pink let me get in the direct sunlight Oh my god, my eye is killing me so bright. So, I can't I can't withstand that any more than that. But um basically your um the lid, the shade I used on my lid was called Slave to Pink and I blended that all the way up into almost my brow bone and out. I also lined my lower lash line with it. I went over my lower lash line with Dare, which is the color I showed in my last video. Um in the corner of my eye, I used Glow Stick glow stick right here and that was it and I painted it on with a brush I didn't have to prime my eyes I didn't have to do anything special all I did was paint it on with a makeup brush like a run-of-the-mill I used a dollar I used a brush I got for a dollar from elf cosmetics eyes lips face you really don't need anything fancy with these shades and I love them they're great for the makeup novice if you're not really into makeup you don't know how to do it and you want something that's gonna help you learn how to blend and everything oh, I also use the blender brush but I mean, if you, if you need something that, you know, you don't want to have to use a primer and all these other steps, you just want to be able to put it on and go, this product does it, and it's super shiny, super, if you, you it's super pigmented, you can do a neutral look with the colors that are neutral and still have that pop, still have something special about it. I love these shades. Again, they're moist to the touch, close them, um, and once you have them on, they're crease proof and they're not going anywhere. Oh, my hand is dirty from swatches. But um, yeah, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's on all day. Use an oil-based makeup remover and a cotton ball to get it off and you'll be fine. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have pictures at the end, too. If, if you'd, you'd like, like to purchase these, there's going to be a link below, so check it out. Um, anyway, guys, please subscribe to my fashion blog. The link is going to be below. Follow me on Instagram. My name is going to be below. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and please enjoy the picture swatches. Thank you for watching. I'm Recycled Stardust.